All right, good afternoon. It is April 30th and I am down here in the Smoky Mountains, gonna do a loop. Uh, my shuttle driver, I think her name was Sam, just dropped me off from a walk in the woods. Very pleasant shuttle driver. We had a good conversation. Um, I left my car at the end of the uh, Old Settlers Trail in the Greenbrier area, and she drove me here to the beginning of the Madrim Bald. So um, it's about one o'clock on um, Saturday, so I am just planning on hiking um, up Madrim Bald, the campsite, I, it's not 33, I forget the name of the campsite, the one on Madrim Bald, um, I think it's called Otter Creek maybe, I'm not too sure, but I'm going to do the Albright Grove Loop Trail, um, so I shouldn't have too far today, maybe six, seven miles, um, so I should get there in plenty of time, and um, I was up early today, got down here super early, so I'm probably just going to get there, eat, and uh, crash early and get some nice sleep, so, all right, let's get going. All right, so I came to my first intersection. Um, I'm gonna be heading, keep heading that way. I'm Mandarin Bald, Gabe's Mountain, right there. I should be coming out this way on the third day and then heading down Old Settlers, which is behind me, so. But uh, yeah, one of the more stranger things I saw, about 0.5 up Mandarin Bald from where I got dropped off, I just heard all this chanting and the trail's just been basically like a road and I rounded and there was about 12 to 14 women dressed in bright orange dancing around, waving their arms in the air and like fainting and falling over and chanting. And um, I just, I didn't know what to do. It was like a standoff with a bear. Like, I don't know. I think they were so into it that they didn't know I was there. I was made a little noise and they just kept uh, doing their little ritual. So um, eventually uh, they, they figured out I was there and they were, they let me go through and they were very kind, but um, <laughs> Yeah, well, so that was <laughs> that was interesting. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna take a little water break here and then um, keep on cruising down the Madrim Ball Trail. It is a little humid. But... cut. Look at these two. Huge. I think we're starting to get into the old growth now. Pretty cool. Okay, so here's the start of the Albright Grove Trail. It's right after I crossed like maybe 0 0.12, right after that sweet creek and uh, bridge. I took a lot of time down there and just kind of enjoyed it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the 0.7 Albright Loop that way and then come back and then come back down here and then back up so I can get that little section between the two uh, Albright Trailheads. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so this one behind me is a monster. That's the biggest one I've seen so far. I'm, a, I, I'm assuming it's a tulip poplar because most of the big trees in the park are tulip poplars. So if you know, let me know. It would probably take about four people holding hands to um, go around that thing. Pretty cool. Just another beautiful creek in the Smokies. Never gets old. I'm gonna have to rock hop across this one, but I think I found a little route behind me. Um, looks like some people are using that log, but um, I'm just gonna rock hop. It's not too deep. I love getting these spots and always take like a minute or two to look for salamanders. I don't know. Let's see if I can find any. All right, uh, should be getting to camp here probably in the next like 30, 45 minutes. Um, I am staying at camp 29. Um, but yeah, this Madron Bald so far has been great. Um, you've seen all the creek creek crossings, uh, beautiful. Um, there are some, there were some blowdowns, but nothing too terrible to get through. And um, it's getting cooler up here so I can tell I am uh, definitely gaining some elevation and uh, breathing heavy and sweating so yeah I know I'm going up but yeah um, great hike so far it's been beautiful All right, I took this little uh, little side trail right off of Madra and Bald, and boy, was it worth it. I'm gonna take a nice break here. I got plenty of time to get to camp. I think the campsite, I can hear a creek right there. I know it's on the creek, so I think we're gonna, it's somewhere up in there. So I should be getting there soon. But uh, yeah, check these views out. The only one up here. Not too shabby. Ooh. 
right, campsite 29, I just got set up. I'm just gonna take there, it's a little tight for the hammock, but um, it's not a whole lot of options here. Um, and I don't know about tenting, it's really rocky. <laughs> so I don't, I'm glad I don't have a tent. But yeah, I'm gonna set up there and the creek is right there. And then we got bear cables and the trail I came in right there across the creek and then I came down here and set up. But then in the morning the trail just winds up that way. So that's where I'll be heading in the morning. Keep going up. But um, there's an owl real close. I keep hearing him. He's up in there somewhere. So I'm hoping I'm gonna keep my eyes open and maybe he'll get a little closer and I can get some uh, get a picture of him or something. Only one here so far. I'm just gonna relax for a little bit and get filtered water and then start cooking. I'm the only one here tonight, so I'm just gonna crash. Uh, I was up at 3.30 this morning, so I am pretty tired, and the drive down here was mainly in the morning, and it was dark, and so I'm just gonna go to bed, and I'll see everybody in the morning. Good morning. I just left camp. Um, I think it's 1.5 to the end of Madron Ball to meet up with Snake Den, so, you know, of course, straight up in the morning, but Nice gets you, wakes you up a little bit. But yeah, last night <laughs> it was windy, man. Super pushy. Um, I had to get up a couple times and adjust. And uh, actually, when you got that tarp, it almost acts like a parachute sometimes. I actually pulled a stake out, so I had to go and uh, restake 
my tarp down. But uh, I looked up at the sky and there was just stars. So I was worrying that it was bringing in um, some rain, but I think we might get rain this afternoon. There's a chance. Maybe I'll get lucky. But uh, yeah, one other person rolled in around like nine in the dark. So nice guy. I talked to him for a minute and then tried to go to bed, but was off and on sleeping because of that wind. I mean, it was, it was windy. So, all right, catch up with you later. Oh yeah! Check that out. Right, uh, just made it up to the uh, Snake Den Ridge Trail. Um, I'm gonna do the 0.7 up to the Appalachian Trail and then back down. And then, um, so I'm done with the Madron Bald. So I'm gonna do that 0.7 up and back and then I'm gonna be heading down Snake Den Ridge. I think it's all downhill from what I've heard, pretty steep. Down to the Cosby Campground and um, do some trails around there. Um, I know I'm staying on Gabe's Mountain Trail tonight. So yeah, hopefully the uh, weather will hold out. Um, at least till I get to Cosby Campground, because I think there's some stuff down there I can take shelter under if I need to, so, yeah. Uh, Manager and Bald was awesome. I think we just became best friends. I mean, I definitely won top five in the park so far, so. Um, just the diversity, the creeks, the views, the change in the forest. Um, yeah, it had it all, it was really cool. The only downside was the campsite, like it was beautiful, the campsite, the setting with the creek, but the actual, camping situation wasn't that great. It was real rocky and rudy, not really flat spots. And um, there were quite a few, blo few blowdowns, but um, it looked like they'd been there a while, so people have already carved out ways through them. So anyways, gonna take a little break, chug some water and get going.
Still heading down the Snake Den Ridge Trail. It's been steep and rocky. I feel like I'm kind of starting to get out of the heavy wind though, so that's nice. Long one. Cool. Currently just taking shelter under the bathroom roof. Um, there's thunder in the area and it's been raining off and on so this is where I'll have my lunch, and I'm just going to sit here for a while. I've got plenty of time to get to camp, so um, I might hike around and do some of these other like side trails and little trails around the Cosby campground, but this is what I'm going to be doing for probably an hour. Currently I'm hiking some of these little connector trails in the Cosby campground area because the sun came out but then now it's dark again so I thought I could probably hike about 1.5 like some of these or a mile and I'm on the mile one now but it pops out at the road so if the weather gets bad again I can always go back up and take shelter um, before getting on the Gabe's Mountain Trail and um, getting to my campsite so I, I think the rain's going to let up later today but who knows. All right, just keeping you updated. Made it to the start of the Gabe's, Gabe's Mountain Trail, so there's more than one. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chill here for a minute. It's 1.30, so I might take a nice long break just to get eat, get energized, because I got only 4.8 to get to camp. And that's, well, that, I mean, the way I hike may be like two and a half, three hours the most, and I wanna stop and check out Himwala Falls for a bit. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna take my time. Um, and rest i was just did some of these cosby trails around here um which are pretty nice so i know there's one about 0.3 up i'm gonna knock out real quick and then keep going all right <laughs> Let's go check out Henwaller Falls. Point one down, point one up, and then to the campsite.
Right, made it to Camp Thai, Site 34, Sugar Cove. Um, nice little site. Uh, got that nice creek right there I'm gonna fall asleep to. Got my hammock set up, I'll put the tarp up. Um, right before I go to bed. Blue skies right now, you can't tell. It's down in the hollow, it's so dark down here. Um, got my bear cables up there. And yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy. It's uh, six o'clock, so I got like two hours of daylight. Um, I've already um, started eating, so uh, maybe it'll be an early night. I have a big day tomorrow. I'm going to try to push 18 back to the truck. So I'm going to get an early, early go. So hopefully it's not raining in the morning. It'll make it a lot easier. Getting back on Gabe's Mountain Trail at exactly 7 o'clock. Had a great night's sleep last night. I mean, one of the better ones I've had in a while, so much needed. Just left camp, um, got up pretty early and on the trail, so that's nice. Um, there was just one other person staying there. It's uh, somebody probably a little younger than me, but it was his first night out by himself camping and stuff, so. It's kind of nice to chat about that um, and yeah just early in the morning I love it the birds are singing the sun's starting to come up um, it's probably one of the more peaceful times to hike in the woods so um, just still heading down Gabe's mountain trail should have about two miles to meet up with the old settlers trail and then I'm gonna hop on that Mountain Trail in the books. Next, the Old Settlers. Down the Old Settlers Trail, my truck is sitting at Greenbrier Cove. So, still pretty early. It's about quarter to eight. Just took a little snack break here on one of these nice benches and ready to check out the Old Settlers Trail. Definitely clearing out the cobwebs on this trail so far. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a great trip so far. Just talk about that. Um, Madrim Bald and Gabe's Mountain were amazing. I would definitely come back and rehype those again and again because I just thought they were unique and really fun. Um, 
Snake Den Ridge. It's a trail. Um, steep. It was steep down. There was could have been some views, but they were all obstructed, which is can be kind of common in the Smokies. Um, but the bottom little half of it was pretty neat. There were some neat creek crossings. Then um, it rained a little bit. But not too bad. Luckily, I was in the vicinity of Cosby Campground. And I was able to duck in there and kind of take shelter. Did some of those little trails, connector trails around there, which were fun. And uh, yeah, been a great trip so far. Haven't seen much wildlife. No deer, no bears, turkey. Seen some salamanders, lots of birds. So. Maybe my luck will change here in a little bit. This seems like the type of trail that's like lower elevation. It's all wooded. And you might get lucky and uh, get a chance to see some, some wildlife. Oh, wow. Looks like we got another footbridge. <laughs> that's pretty, you're probably getting tired of the footbridges. But man, there's a lot of, I've just been over a lot of footbridges this trip. I didn't think there was that many on this trail, but I guess there is. Old Settlers Trail, about a mile in. Another gorgeous creek in the Smokies. Let's never get old. Just a short little trip off the old cellars down here to the Tyson McCarter Place, built in 1876. I guess this is an old barn. Tons of stone walls around here. Really neat. See how this works. All right. I'm about nine miles in on the Little Settlers Trail. Um, I love it so far. Uh, Reminds me of Meg's Mountain a little bit, but there's a lot more water crossings and um, there's some ups and downs and they're straight up and straight down. So 
depending on uh, what you like. The downs are knee busters and the ups are cardio busters. So this is a um, great trail though so far, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the campsite, which is probably about, well, less than two miles from this spot and uh, take a break, water up. Made it to the old settlers campsite. So I've got about 6.7, 7 miles up so far. So it's uh, a little before one. I'm gonna take a long break here, charge up and get back to the truck. Nice little spot. Got a nice creek down there. I think there's this might be the main spot, but I think there's more sites. I see some trails leading back there. So fun. All right, I think I just got a couple miles left. Um, just went up a big climb. Now I'm on the downhill. Hopefully this is the, the home stretch here. It's just gonna be all flat and downhill and cruiser to the truck. Yeah, the old settlers trail is pretty nice. Um, super long. I think it probably is the longest trail in the park that doesn't have connector trails on it. So. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Tons of water crossings. Um, no like real views, but you're in the woods the whole time. It's really pretty. I haven't seen much wildlife, just a couple of deer. And uh, yeah, it got hot. It's humid. So on those uphills, I was feeling it sweating. I've been taking a lot of water breaks, trying to stay hydrated to keep my legs a chugging forward. All right, I guess I'll, uh, I don't know, there might be some like cabins or chimneys coming up, but if not, I'll see you at the truck. Uh-oh, <laughs> I came back to this uh, sign here, um, which looks like I was blocked in, but uh, I had some good luck and I'll tell you about it here in just a second. Okay, so I was 0.5 from the, finishing the Old Settlers Trail on my trip and I ran into a couple, the first people I had seen all day and they were like, hey, do you have that red truck with Kentucky plates? I was like, yeah, why? They're like, you're blocked in, they closed the road. The guy, Matt, who if you're watching, man, thank you so much. He hiked back um, and he said he's gonna help me move it, which is it's pretty damn heavy. And as we were getting to the car and they started walking down, two rangers pulled up and they said, hey, just follow us. So we all moved the sign and I got out. The timing was just amazing. So thank you to Matt and his girlfriend and our wife, whoever from Sevierville. And um... so I know the video ended real quick. So I just wanna give a shout out to um, I believe it was Matt and his wife or girlfriend for uh, taking the time to come back and help me move the barrier and also the two rangers by chance that showed up they are super nice I've never I've loved the Smoky Mountain Rangers never had a bad experience with them they're always super kind and helpful so uh, yeah we got myself out of that um, little mess there and was able to get home safely and I just went to Gatlinburg and did the usual grab a bite to eat and, and a beer at the Smoky Mountain Brewery and got some taffy and some chocolate from the old Smoky Mountain kitchen and handed, headed home and got home around midnight so it was a great trip um, really like Major and Bald and um, Gates Mountain um, super super beautiful lots of water um, Campsites were okay, but they were in a beautiful setting, so that kind of made up for the lack of 
campsites or good camping there, uh, hammocking. But um, oh yeah, so I can't wait to the next adventure. Uh, hopefully sooner than later. I know we're going to Isle Royale National Park for seven days and six nights in early August. So stay tuned. Should be awesome.